द बिल्डर्स ऑफ इंडिया हेरीटेज अशोक द ग्रेट अपॉन द वास्ट प्लेन ऑफ कलिंगा नाट फार फ्रम द मॉडर्न सिटी ऑफ भुवनेश्वर वॉज बीइंग फॉट अ वॉर द लाइक ऑफ विच द कंट्री हैड नेवर नोन इट वॉज द एम्पर ऑफ मगधा हु हैड इनवेडेड कलिंगा देन अ पीसफुल एंड प्रॉस्परस एम्पयर The invasion was bloody and brutal. The young emperor himself who led the army of Magadha was reputed to have ascended the throne through a bloody bath. He had killed 99 brothers of his. He knew no mercy. The people of Kalinga fought back bravely, but being unprepared for such a situation, they were routed. One lakh people were killed. The water of the narrow river that flowed through the battlefield turned red. The young invader stood on a hill and saw the consequence of his invasion. The horizon was blinded and the sky was darkened by fire and smoke rising from hundreds of villages around. And through the fire his soldiers dragged their prisoners not by the hundreds but by the thousands in fact the young emperor had been informed that 1 lakh and 50000 people had been taken captive there were violent shouts of triumph from the camp of his soldiers who had plundered the prosperous kalinga to their heart's content but such shouts were often subdued by the cries of agony from the dying and the wailing of those rendered miserable Suddenly the young invader was overwhelmed by a strange feeling of melancholy what will be the benefit from this massacre kalinga would be annexed to his empire but for how long tomorrow when his power would weaken the kalinga army would march upon magadha to avenge their defeat violence will breed violence wars will repeat in a vicious circle but if violence breeds violence can't love breed love yes it can such an assurance came to him from the message of buddha back to pataliputra the capital of magadha the emperor threw away his sword never to pick up his name was ashoka generally known as chandashoka ashoka the terrible but he turned into dharmashoka Ashoka the pious this was in 262 BC most probably it was upagupta a great buddhist saint who initiated ashoka to buddhism inspired by the idol ashoka forbade sacrifice of animals throughout his empire he employed a large number of officers known as dharma mahamatras to act as the messengers of truth they spread the virtue of righteous living courteous conduct and non-violence among the people he also convened a great conference of the buddhist scholars and monks in 253 bc which was held under the presidentship of upagupta he constructed thousands of stupas such as are to be found at sanji and saranath viharas monasteries and pillars adorned with excellent sculpture but bearing important inscriptions these inscriptions highlighted the moral principles by which the people should be guided at the same time they gave the government officers their codes of conduct one of the inscriptions reads all the people are my children hence as a father desires prosperity and happiness for his children in this world and in the world next i desire prosperity and happiness for all the people vast was asoka's empire extending from the hindu kush in the northwest to bengal in the east and from the foot of the himalayas in the north to the river pennar in the south his inscriptions have been found at such distant places as kantakar and jalalabad in afghanistan ashoka sent ambassadors to different countries with a message of buddha 
his son Mahendra and daughter Sangamitra are believed to have gone on a goodwill mission to Sri Lanka. Thus to Ashoka is due the popularization of Buddhism. History mentions him as Ashoka the Great. Support us by subscribing our channel. Thank you.